to our favorite time of yes. the week. Yes, Faith Friday. And our next guest will undoubtedly brighten your day. He is the senior pastor at Applegate Christian Fellowship in Medford, Oregon, as well as a radio host, a speaker, and a best-selling author. And his newest book, Flirting with Darkness, Building Hope in the Face of Depression, is what he calls a how-to guide to help defeat depression. And he is here now, Ben Corson. Welcome to the show, my man. Thanks so much for being here. We have a copy of the book in front of us. This was born out of a lot of pain uh, for you. Uh, what was that and why this route? Why talk about it in such a way? How helpful was it for you to write a book? Well, it was very cathartic and therapeutic for me to write this book because my brother and my sister had died. And so I got diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, and I didn't even know what that was at the time. So this was a way for me to deal with my own grief, but also to help others through theirs. I believe our scars become our stars, and our wounds become our wisdom. Yeah, and Ben, you call the book A Hope Hand Guide, or How to Guide Someone to Help Beat or Overcome Depression. What are the steps? How do you even get started? Number one, we have to remember that all pain is finite. I really believe that pain either has the power to break us or it is the power that makes us unbreakable. What it is depends on who we are. So I always like to tell people it's not the power of the darkness that's to be feared. It's fear that gives power to the darkness. So I want to disarm people's fear. I want to encourage people to put pep in their step, to live their life with hope. And one of the ways that we do this is by realizing that we are forged by adversity. I believe that pain makes us stronger and tears make us braver and heartbreak makes us wiser. And one day we're going to thank our past for a better future. And, and then you talk about pep in the step, pain is finite. We have a book here that folks can read. But for you and should people understand for them, th this isn't a one book, one weekend, one week and uh, or one saying process that it is this people need to understand this this could take them a while to come out of yeah hope is a journey joy is a choice and sometimes we have to fight for what we don't feel and it will take time the neuroscientist antonio damasio reports that 95 percent of the time it's our feelings that decide for us out of the 35,000 choices you make every day, 95% of the time, it's your feelings that decide for you. So would any of you trust a friend that lied to you as much as your emotions do? <laughs> I always like to encourage people, sometimes you have to fight for what you don't feel. Uh, Dr. Daniel Amen has done more brain scans than anyone in history. He's done 83,000 brain scans over a 22 year career. And the number one most important discovery and find that he and his colleagues have made is that the brain can change. This is called neuroplasticity. But in order to practice cognitive restructuring and to heal our minds, it's going to take time over and over again, driving our thoughts toward the light, regardless of what our emotions are telling us. Yeah, our Dr. Jen Ashton has been nodding her head with everything <laughs> you're saying. And in fact, something we've both said to each other, feelings aren't facts. And so I think that's something that you were just pointing out very, very eloquently. We always ask our Faith Friday guests to leave our viewers heading into the weekend with a message of hope, especially for those who may be feeling alone, depressed, so take it away. If you're depressed, I want to encourage you that life is like a glow stick. Sometimes you have to break before you shine. And your breakdown is actually God's breakthrough. So don't give up or give in, but give it everything you've got. I want to encourage you that this is not the end, that your soul is forged into uh, the destiny that God intends for you to walk in through the pain that you go through. I believe that we can glory in tribulation and trial because perseverance is produced through pain so do not give up do not give in that is the center of everything your soul is forged by adversity your spirit is tempered into steel and iron through the difficult things that you go through so i want to encourage you to be strong when everything's going wrong because god's got your back and if he's for you who can be against you this gives me tremendous hope in my life and i believe it will help you in yours as well ah uh, i mean Beautifully said and with so much sincerity and you've lived it, you've walked it, you are doing the work. Ben's book, Flirting with Darkness, is available everywhere books are sold. Ben, thank you so much for that wisdom. Thank you, guys. Keep up the great work and we'll talk soon. Man, great. This is where the church says amen. <laughs> right about now. All right. Hello. Is there anything we love more than our Faith Fridays? It's around? the best. We it, need it every Friday.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.